the Rare Brothers just broke their silence and I'm not gonna lie, this is crazy. We also got some information about the release date for Rare Seas. Alright, so first of all, we got this really cool picture of this fish man. I'm not sure uh, who this is or if it's like a boss or something, but it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Starting off this teaser trailer, we got the new main menu, which is actually really, really tough. It makes you feel like you're in a triple A game. We've seen this cutscene before and I made a video about this talking about Conker's Hockey, so if y'all haven't seen that, go check it out. We've seen the character customization, and as we can see here, we have different game modes like Battlegrounds, Ranked, and Crew Battles, which is crazy that they're having all three of these junks in one game. We got the character slots that are most likely free, and new character UI. So at the bottom here, if you look really closely, when the character turns around, we can kind of see things changing. This kind of reminds me of games like God of War and, uh, you know, games where you have some sort of quest or story mission you have to do, and when you look around, it kind of directs you to where you have to go. Usually that's only for games where the map is extremely large and it's going to be a little tough to get around without using a map. So maybe this means that the Rail Seas map is going to be extremely large and like really huge. Also, if you look closely in the inventory storage thing right here, we see a bunch of fruits in here. Now this lightning thing here is most likely going to be uh, the electric fighting style. Now at first I thought it was Goro, but look to the right, we can see Goro is right there and it matches the initial design for the Goro fruit. Now this could be something else, but I'm pretty sure it's the electric fighting style. And as we can see, it has a different type of thing around it. The fruits have a lighter color around them while the items like the weapons have a darker color and then the electric fighting style seems to have its own initial color so this could be a sign that this is not actually an item but probably like a fighting style or something else but i could be wrong because again i'm not one of the real brothers but after we see all this we probably see the most amazing thing that we have ever seen ever for real seas tons and tons of devlog sneaks now if y'all don't know what a devlog is it's basically when the developer kind of you know logs all of their information from what they're doing inside of a a chain of text I guess I could say. This is a gold mine right here. We can go through all this stuff but I'm gonna only go over the main stuff that I see that is like you know really cool. As I said before this is a devlog. Things can change over time but as of right now it looks like one cannon is gonna do 25% of HP of a ship. That sounds absolutely insane because like think about it bro. Four cannons your ship is done. That's actually wild. Whoever gets the four cannons first wins basically. This is from the beginning of this month though so this could have changed. But yeah we gonna have to make sure that our ship is like super upgraded or something when we start our crew. Also for y'all gun mains, guns are not going to be able to automatically reload and gun bullets are going to be almost instant so like there's going to be like almost no way to dodge those junks. Maybe observation hockey but I don't know. We also got some cool boss combat right here. As you can see there's a lot of attack patterns for this boss. I'm not going to lie to you though, the combat looks a little boring like it's kind of like moving back and forth from shooting. It kind of reminds me of when I fought my Shikai and type so it doesn't look bad at all and it looks like you know it could be fun in the moment. But looking at it from here, it looked kind of boring. Maybe it's because he was using the gun and he was kind of like spamming that bullet. We also see this thing says right here, compass locates events plus landmarks. So maybe the events will be similar to GPO, like the, uh, you know, Soul King events and stuff like that. Also, y'all remember that stinky looking oh purple poisonous God. looking oh, gas damn. bubble that pops up when you use the block? Yeah, they changed that. Now it looks like a shield and I think it looks better this way. I don't know what y'all think, but I think it looks better. Also, we see that towns will have villagers. I'm not sure if this means every town, but most likely it will be every town. I remember in GPO, they used to have huge cities but no people and it would feel really empty and lifeless so this is definitely a good addition to the game also we see that when you choose the feminine option when you're customizing your character you cannot have a beard <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm cutting that part out. Also, we can see here that they have like 50 songs. I'm not that great at math, so do not quote me on that. We also got some new effects for the swords. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what this is for, but it looks really cool. I don't know about y'all, but this looks like hockey a little bit. Like, you know, when Zoro does his slashes and they're purple. So if we look here, we can see normal swords have the same type of effect, but they're not colored. So this might mean that that could be like some type of coding on your sword. Or maybe my theory from my last Relsies video is true. But again, this is all a theory. So... Do not quote me on this. We also see that weapons are gonna have like sparking, I guess. Like when you slash your sword against a wall, it's gonna have like sparking next to it or something. I don't know. And we also have some cool sneaks for the smoke fruit, and this looks fire. You can actually turn invisible and stuff, and then you know, shoot people and grab them closer. This is really cool. I'm not going smoke, but I'm not gonna lie, I would. And then we got the uh, what's this called again? The heart fruit, the marrow fruit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I would get this junk, but look at this zesty oh pose after God. he kicks him. Yeah, no. I am not using that. It looks fire though. This here looks like a fighting style, but I don't think it is. I think this is the flame fruit he's using, but he's doing hit him with some sort of combo. Yeah, he knocks him up into the air and then he hits him with a cutscene. That looks tough. Then he got this cool cape movement, as they say here. Cool capes. Now, I could be wrong about what I said earlier. Looking at this, you know, uh, sword sneak, it's possible that the effects from before were just, you know, the fact that he had a fruit equipped with his sword. It's kind of like Arcane Odyssey, you know, like the Conjurer build where you kind of like, you can use your fruit and also use your sword, but. You know the sword is coated with magic 
this one is kind of like it's coated with devil fruit powers i guess also looking at the ice age ability is really cool because you can like you know uh, ice skate around which is really nice also it's possible that this sword is just for ice and not a you know a normal sword because you know kizaru has his uh his light weapons so it's possible that this could just be like ice weapons i guess now this is the information about a release date at the end of the video they say we are working towards a release date as you read this as you can see they're saying they're working towards finalizing a lot of the game it seems like they're not adding too much anymore but right now they're working on the function of the game like you know having a smooth setup for the game and not having a bunch of game breaking bugs that take place on release so it really seems like they're preparing for release right now I don't know if y'all remember, but around two months ago, they said the game is about 60 to 70% complete. And now looking at this, we can kind of assume that the game is even closer to being finished. Also, the video is called Final Teaser Trailer, so this could mean that we're not seeing anything else. Again, I'm not a developer for this game, but I'm thinking the game might drop like, I don't know, maybe sometime during the summer. I mean, this junk could drop in the winter. It could drop next year. I have no idea. All I know is that they're finalizing the game and working towards things other than just combat and PvP. So yeah, they're working towards a release date. Please don't go around saying Pedro knows what the release date for Rails is because I don't. I don't even think the developers know because it says they're working towards a release date. Yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. That's pretty much it. Uh, if y'all want to see my other Rails video where I talked about the theory about, you know, having Conquer's Hockey Coding, y'all can go check that out. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next one.